Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm excited to share my content with you, and I hope you enjoy watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated on my latest videos. Let's get started. In this video we are going see about. How long does it take to fix fatty liver? A disorder known as fatty liver manifests itself when there is an abnormal accumulation of fat in the cells of the liver. It is possible for the liver to become bloated and enlarged as a result of this. In extreme circumstances, fatty liver can result in cirrhosis of the liver as well as liver failure. The good news is that fatty liver can be reversed. The capacity of the liver to restore health and make a full recovery from illness is among its many admirable characteristics. If it is diagnosed and treated in a timely manner, fatty liver disease may potentially be completely reversed. On the other hand, the length of time it can take to reverse the disease depends on the particular form of fatty liver disease that you have. There are two forms of fatty liver conditions, alcoholic and non-alcoholic, and they each have varied healing schedules and treatment regimens. Alcoholic fatty liver disease is more common. The majority of people who have fatty liver disease are unaware that they have a problem with their liver since the symptoms of fatty liver disease are vague and non-specific, particularly in the early stages. Therefore, the first stage in the process of reversing fatty liver disease is to identify the specific type of the condition as well as the underlying cause of the condition. Alcoholic fatty liver disease, often known as ALD, is caused by drinking excessive amounts of alcohol over a long period of time or abusing alcohol, as suggested by the disease's name. Because the liver and kidneys are the principal systems responsible for the body's detoxification, they are the organs that suffer the most damage from alcohol dependence. In addition, drinking alcohol over a prolonged period of time damages liver cells, which in turn produces widespread inflammation and hinders the liver's capacity to operate normally. Nausea, vomiting, fever, jaundice, stomach discomfort, and alcoholic cirrhosis are all symptoms that can be caused by ALD. The buildup of liver fibrosis, also known as scar tissue, is the hallmark of cirrhosis. This condition ultimately leads to liver failure, which has the potential to be fatal. If a person refrains from drinking alcohol throughout the recovery process, they will increase their chances of success at each stage. The acronym NAFLD stands for Non-Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease can be caused by a wide variety of reasons, including the accumulation of fat due to a poor diet, inactivity, genetic predisposition, or metabolic syndrome-related health conditions such as obesity and type 2 diabetes. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease can be difficult to treat because there are several probable causes, none of which is more or less significant than the others. Patients diagnosed with NAFLD, on the other hand, need to reduce their overall body weight, get rid of any excess body fat, and improve their insulin sensitivity and ability to regulate their blood sugar levels. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, also known as NASH, is the most severe form of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. Similar to alcoholic fatty liver disease, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH, raises one's chance of death by putting them at risk for cardiovascular illnesses and ultimately leading to fibrosis, the scarring of liver tissue, cirrhosis, liver cancer, or liver failure. In the event that a person does not have a liver transplant in a timely manner, it might also lead to an early death. How much time is needed to reverse the effects of fatty liver disease? The length of time it takes for a liver that has been damaged to return to normal varies on the severity of your ailment, the diet you follow, how well you stick to treatment, your age, and your genetic makeup. On the other hand, reversing fatty liver disease can typically be accomplished in as little as six weeks on average. In people who are otherwise healthy, the condition of having a fatty liver can sometimes be completely reversed in less than two months. The progression of alcoholic fatty liver disease into alcoholic hepatitis can be reversed, but there is still a potential that some damage will be left behind. How long it takes to get sober will be determined by how severely you were dependent on alcohol. Abstaining from alcohol completely for a minimum of six months is required for recovery. There are some cases in which a liver transplant is required in order to properly reverse or treat the illness. In other instances, treatments such as steroids, anti-inflammatory drugs, and medications that target cholesterol can help reverse the effects in around nine months to one year. The length of time it will take for you to get well is determined by the type of fatty liver disease you have, the stage it is in, and whether or not you suffer from any other health concerns. 
The time it takes to recover from fatty liver disease is typically estimated to range anywhere from two weeks to six weeks on average. However, in order to prevent relapse, it may be required to stick to a specific diet and lifestyle adjustments for the rest of one's life. Nevertheless, you must make certain that you plan these sits while being supervised by a registered dietitian. Diet. Refined carbs, artificial flavors, and processed sweeteners like fructose are not allowed on the fatty liver food. One of the ways to reverse fatty liver disease is by diet. In its place, it recommends a diet that is low in carbohydrates and high in foods like fish, nuts, and seeds, as well as whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. These foods are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which can help you control the levels of inflammation in your body. Rather than focusing on carbohydrates, this diet prioritizes foods that are high in omega-3 fatty acids. The cessation of alcohol consumption is another critical component in the process of correcting alcohol-induced fatty liver disease. Medication. There are no drugs that have been developed specifically for the treatment of NAFLD. However, based on your current medical problems, your doctor may recommend that you try a certain medication or supplement. Vaccinations are likely necessary for you in order to protect yourself against hepatitis A and B, both of which can cause damage to the liver. Additionally, it is essential to get vaccinated against the flu each year. In the treatment of fatty liver, natural supplements might be preferable to medications that put an additional strain on the liver. Nonetheless, you should consult your primary care physician before beginning to use any new supplement. You could try supplementing with milk thistle, vitamin E, curcumin, or amino acids. Studies have shown that stress can make inflammation in the body worse, which can lead to an increase in the negative effects of having a fatty liver. Rest is achieved by having consistent, high-quality sleep and giving top priority to activities that relieve stress. Some examples of these activities include doing yoga in the morning, watching movies with friends, or doing enjoyable activities with your children on the weekends. It's been shown that taking supplements or drugs can help reduce inflammation in the body, but taking control of your schedule and making time for activities that calm you can have the same effect. Last but not least, Reversing fatty liver disease before it leads to chronic and irreversible liver impairment could save lives and avoid other potentially deadly health problems. Keep in mind that the time it takes for a person who is otherwise healthy to experience a complete reversal of fatty liver disease ranges from 6 weeks to 2 months. Even if you do not currently have any problems with your liver function, it is extremely important to keep your liver in good health. A better lifestyle will not only assist you in losing weight that is stored in your liver, but it will also improve your overall health and well-being. In addition to this, there is a possibility that it will lower the chance of developing fatty liver disease as well as other disorders associated to obesity. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and leave a comment below. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on my latest videos. Until next time, take care.